Hi everybody, I'm going to get ready to start on that Viking shield right now and I uh, thought I'd just shoot a quick video of the opening steps that I've been working on so you can sort of see what I'm doing. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. It's uh, going to be 30 inch shield. Uh, I've got balsa wood from eBay basically. We're going to give that a try. Let's take a look at the measurements here. Balsa a quarter by three by 36, so it's going to be a uh, 30 inch. Is that right? 30 inch shield? Yeah, that should be right. And uh, yeah, so basically what I'm doing is just the circle, and that's pen, string, and thumbtack. Um, as my grandfather used to say, I gave myself plenty of lines to choose from. So yeah, hold your pen straight up and down, right? And uh, Remember that if the knot on your thumbtack is rotating around uh, the circle with your pen, that means that the diameter of your circle is changing. Um, the boards kind of want to shift around while you're trying to make your circle, which can be super annoying. So um, I've seen people just like tack a strip all the way across or whatever. Um, I was just careful and redundant by doing it over and over and over again. Just, uh, you know, measure a lot, cut once, and um, I like to start big and go small because then you, uh, you know, you can always cut off more, right? It's hard to cut off less, if that makes sense to you. Anyhow, so, all right, speaking of cutting, I'm gonna start cutting. Hey, here we go. We're gonna start putting the shield together finally. I think I might have enough glue to do a whole shield, so let's find out. Okay, here's our uh, wax warmer. And I've added some of the glue chunks in there that are dissolved up now. Just a very tiny little bit of water. Not much at all, really. And it seems to be like a pretty good consistency. Let's just do some modeling here. It's definitely sticky. <laughs> this stuff works. And look at that, it's just ready to go, I think. Smells delicious. Okay. And, and here's my shield boards. It's a roughly three foot circle um, balsa wood, which I'm already starting to think is going to be too soft, but this is what we're doing. We're experimenting how light can we get it and have it still work. Okay. Hey, so just gonna work on the shield some more. Um, let's see. I need to make the hide glue, so what I'm gonna do is uh, cut a couple of my hides down to shape for the shield and then uh, that'll give me some scrap and then I can cook it up into glue. Um, I'm gonna try and find some way to sort of just bond these loose planks together just to kind of keep everything straight. So yeah, let's get on it. <laughs> Definitely big enough. I'm gonna leave 
about an inch and a half edging all the way around just so uh, it can fold over it. Yeah. Still plenty of room. These are enormous. Uh, let me find the name of the seller. It's uh, Ajax All Kits. That's Ajax Dash All Kits. And it's a 10 piece goat skin head, size 42 inch, boat rain, lambeg drums by Ajax All Kits. And uh, they're, I'm gonna be honest, uh, the, the English was not like 100%, which is fine because my everything else is pretty close to 0%. But uh, so there was that, but they're worth looking up on eBay. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna cut this thing to size and then get to making the glue. So I just left like an inch and a half over the side and then just enough that I can trim it to place later, basically. So now I'm gonna cut this up into little bits and uh, we're gonna cook the glue out of it. All right, and there we go. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Uh, goat hide, cut up about this thin. Um, I just wanted you to see about how much material I'm gonna work with here so that when we have the finished product, because I don't know how much glue this is gonna make, so uh, hopefully a lot. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because I've got 10 goat hides and I only need a few shields at the most. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of leftover goat hide. All right, well, time to uh, add some water to this and um, probably figure something out to hold the hide down under the water so it absorbs in. And after that, the cooking starts. All right. Oh, um, so yeah, I want to uh, saturate the hides before I put heat to it because um, I have the suspicion this is going to be a fuel heavy, electricity heavy experience. So what, um, I think it'll be more efficient if I let the hides soak up a bunch of water first and then boil it instead of trying to cook the water into the hide, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what the pre-soak is about. All right.